Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we go over how to use Melodyne. Melodyne is a pitch correction software, and it comes with Studio One. If you have Artist, you have a trial, and if you have Pro or your Sphere membership, you already have the Essentials version of Melodyne in your account. Today, I'm gonna to do a quick overview on how to use Melodyne, and we're gonna use these lead and background vocals to do so. So let's dive into the DAW and take a look at pitch correction. So here we are inside of our session, our lead vocals are in red, our background vocals are in this orange kind of color. So let's take a listen, and I know now that these are our problem guys right here. The background vocals, they're in harmony with the lead vocals, and something's just a little off. So we'll take a listen. But let's scroll back a little and take a listen to everything else beforehand to make sure that we don't need to do even more pitch correction. So I don't know if you heard it, but there's something going on with these two lines. I'm gonna solo everything out, but listen to these two. I feel crazy. Something just isn't right. And if I take out the background vocals. I feel crazy. He's holding that note and it's pretty solid. If we switch back over to just the background vocal. He's kind of shifting around just a little bit and it clashes with the lead vocal. So what we can do is separate our clip out and we're gonna use the keyboard shortcut of Command and M or Control and M if you're on a PC. That will automatically take this clip and import it using ARA into Melodyne. Melodyne will do its process to detect the pitch and everything that's going on in this clip of the segment. And once it's done with its analyzation, we can go ahead and pitch correct this vocal. Now that Melodyne has finished its detections, this is what we're looking at. It's a few orange blobs, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this out and make it bigger so that we can see it. If you see it like this and you wanna zoom in, what you can do is come up to your toolbar up here and underneath the arrow is the zoom tool. Another way you can do this is with your mouse, you can right click to get the toolbar wherever your mouse is as well. We'll stick with the magnifying glass and we'll zoom in. So the way this works is you click and hold and if you wanna stretch things horizontally, you move to the left or right. Moving to the left will make things longer so you can see fewer notes within the bar and stretching things down will make things taller. Then if you've stretched everything and you can't see it anymore, there are still scroll bars on the right side over here and on the bottom. And I don't know if you can see this, but there are reference waveforms underneath the scroll bar. So you can take the scroll bar and move right to where your waveforms are. You can use the scroll wheel to go up and down very easily. When we'll also just scroll horizontally a little here as well to get all of our notes in. Then I'll right click and go back to my arrow tool. Now you can see there seems to have been some pitch correction done to these notes, but there's nothing saying we can't just select one by just clicking on it. If you click and drag, it will change the pitch for the waveform you've selected. And because Melodyne auto detects your key, it can lock the notes to the key. You saw it jumped over. C. I can't go to the note D because that's not in the key, but I can go to D sharp and I can go to E. C. Let's go up to F sharp as well. This is in the key and the notes in the key are highlighted on the left side here. C. If Melodyne didn't get the key just right, you can always come over clicking on the note of the key you're in, and you'll get this menu and you can say, actually this is in E minor, or actually this is in the key of my song. 
but Melodyne's pretty good. You may have to teach it a little, but it's pretty good at detecting the key. Now that we're here and we can see everything, we can navigate the same way. I can click along top, and if I hit play, it will play the whole song from here. Hey, I feel crazy. So something there, this crazy, the crazy doesn't sound right. So let's try different notes. Lower wasn't bad. Let's go higher. Hey, I feel crazy. Now we have the same note, so we don't really have a harmony going on here. But this opens up a lot of different opportunities. You can do a bunch of different changes or develop your harmonies to go back in and re-record them to really fill out this part. Let's go even higher. This note started as a C sharp. Let's put it up to that F sharp. Z hey, I feel crazy. Not quite, but let's go a little more extreme. Z hey, I feel crazy. Clearly that's not the part he was doing, but it works. We know that he was singing a D sharp, and so G sharp makes sense. If we want to go for a note that's not in the key, you can do this. When you're dragging your note, if you hold down Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC, you can shift the note by sense and you are not locked to the key. Watch this. This is also good if you don't want to slam your waveforms to a note. You can do just a little correction. Maybe they're not off by a lot, and maybe just sections are off by a little bit. You can cut the waveform and just do little bumps like this to make things a little bit more uniform. We've taken this note and put it out of key. Let's take a listen. Hey, I feel crazy. It's ever so slightly flat and we can tell from right here because we are seven cents off from the middle of the note. I can hold down alt again and shift this straight on to be in pitch but it's out of key. So let's put it back in. Z. Let's go down a little from the C sharp down to the B. And I think that's probably where we're gonna leave it. Hey, I feel crazy. I'm losing me. You may have noticed that these notes are down in this octave and it's the same notes as in this octave. Sometimes Melodyne will shift octaves, but the note values and any pitch correction will still be correct. So if we take this note and shift it up, it's just represented in a lower octave. Sometimes that happens, but it still works. I'm losing me. The cool thing is, if we close out of Melodyne and go back to our session here, you can see the MIDI notes inside of this event right here. And because we were using ARA, it's all happening in real time. No need to render. So there you go, that's a quick overview on how to use Melodyne and how Melodyne can help you create different harmonies for your songs. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.